behind me on this uniform shit. Like, y'all really believe that you are that nigga behind this badge. And a lot of fuck niggas, understand this now, a lot of fuck niggas join the police force now. Some good niggas, but a lot of fuck niggas join that police force for that revenge shit. A lot of fuck niggas join that police force on that revenge shit, nigga. And niggas goddamn police the area that they grew up in. I don't know, I'm going to clean up the neighborhood shit, but on some... Yeah, you fuck niggas, fuck my bitch. You fuck niggas been teasing me all in high school. You fuck niggas around this bitch shining. Some niggas join the police force just to uh, enhance their hater abilities. by my olive leaf. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're going to need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612-567-3263. Get your shit together, big home. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. And this is, are you fucking serious? I'm trying to think how I should come and how I need to holler at y'all. We see the Misa, the Misa police, whatever the fuck they name is. My issue on this video is, if you haven't seen it, um... I don't put links in the description, but you need to... I know you've seen this video. It's gone viral. Uh, a nigga trying to get into the apartment here on the elevator. Police come. Um, I did a, some research on it, um, and it said that uh, they had got a call. Obviously, some bullshit-ass call about uh, uh, weapons. Some duck-ass shit. You've seen the video. My issue starts in this video. First thing. White man say, God damn, the man hit the elevator trying to get in the elevator. White man obviously say, hey, hold on, I need to talk to you too. Like, what the fuck? Man, that's some bullshit. But nigga want to comply. This nigga ain't never had no trouble, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to get into the fucking house. This why I hate apartment complexes. All right, bam. So now nigga got to get on the rail and wait for this white man to get this shit together. Because more police on the way. All right. So now the, the ball head, big fat head, big wall. I'm trying real fat head. You seen this fat? This nigga head was so fucking... Yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just making sure that you know that that PayPal link is always in the description box. 90% of communication is non-verbal. You know that I believe that shit. So, as although I love when you go in the comment section and you say, oh, this is really shit on YouTube. Oh, this fuck shit is a thousand. Keep it real and all that shit like that. I appreciate that shit, but if you really want to support the channel and you really believe the shit you're saying, fuck with the PayPal. Whether it's a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, show support. You know that you donate over $20, you have the option of getting your name or your business shouted out at the beginning of any episode of your choosing. Also, if you want one of the Big Homes AO Nation t-shirts, all you gotta do is go to the PayPal, shoot the $25 on them, come back to the Facebook Messenger or the Instagram, let me know you paid, tell me what size you want, and it should be at your house. After you get your address, but I think that's kind of obvious, I really don't want to say that on this fucking promo. But, you know what I'm saying? It's really simple, whatever like that. But I want you to show support. Like, you know what I'm saying? AO Nation is not about talking. It's about doing. Do the shit, be home. Fucking fat. And, and look and how after all the shit was, after the shit was fucked up, that nigga dipped. Make sure you watch the video and see how the fuck that nigga dipped when the, like, when the shit was, like, you know what I'm saying? When the nigga was already dead on the ground and shit like that. You know, when they were fucked up on the ground. Man, here it is. Nigga on the rail. Now here come the fat waterhead, ball head. You gotta watch niggas like that because... A nigga like that was the same. When I, like when I was in the interrogation room, that was a nigga that the fed niggas had goddamn gave that nigga some type of heads up call or some shit like that. And that nigga had to, he like, we don't help each other? We don't help each other? Who the fuck you think I am? But that's what they do to make it feel like y- y'all, y'all are one. Y'all are the same. Now I told y'all, the white man will not come at you directly. He gonna send another nigga. So no saying, he, cause it, it, oh, they're connected. Cause, they're, cause most of you dumbass niggas will fall for it. 
He start using some slang like, man, what's going on? Man, 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 what's going on, man? Start using that nigga slang. See, the white man know he can't talk that nigga talk without signing the face. So now he's sending a nigga in there because that's his fluid language. That's like his second language and shit like that. So here we are. We got this fat head nigga. Fat head nigga go straight to grabbing the nigga pockets. Just tapping the nigga pocket. Ain't like, like just tapping the nigga shit while he on his leg. You just gonna pull a nigga pan off? Right there, I seen what kind of nigga this was. And I watched the interview of the motherfucker explaining, the white man explaining what happened. They said, yeah, we just, I wish they, they, they were on it. They, they weren't their best that day. That's what he said. But see, a nigga can't afford to not be his best that day. So why can't a suspect, and this, he wasn't a fucking suspect. Why can't a citizen not be on his best day? See, if a citizen isn't on his best day, then that's the day he died. If an officer is not on his best day, then uh, might get, uh, what they call it, authorized leave, unauthorized leave, or some shit like that, Author authority, whatever the fuck they call that shit. They go on leave and shit. A nigga leave the planet. A nigga leave his body. If he's not on his best day. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that crazy, though? A police officer can actually, if, if he's having a bad day, then you having a bad day. But if you having a bad day, then you gonna have a worse day. That's crazy, ain't it? See, I don't look at police the same way you look at police. You look at police, see, you call the police like you call Papa John's. And they come and feel your order. The reason why niggas don't feel comfortable calling the police because they know that this shit might not go the way I want it to. A nigga can't even really, with, with all his might, a nigga can't even really call the police on a bitch at his house. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, this whole... I don't want this whole kick in the door, man. I'm trying to keep this whole nigga could be braced up on the door. Like, hey, man, look, man. Man, the girl, she kicking the goddamn door, man, at the house, man. If y'all send somebody down here, man. Oh, where you at, sir? Man, look, man, I'm down here at the house, dog. Come on, dog. You already know where I'm at, man. Come on, dog. Y'all know what's going on because the nigga really trying to stall because he really don't. A nigga thinking that I'm on the phone with the police and this whole kicking the door. I figure I'm on the phone with the police. You know what I'm saying? This whole gonna just run away with whatever like that. But fuck no. Because the black bitch, she called the police like Papa John's too. And they gonna come in a fucking hurry. Just as long as who you calling on is a nigga, a black man, they gonna come in a hurry. It don't matter who calls as long as it ain't another nigga. A nigga tell you, a nigga calls and say, hey man, this nigga trying to kick my door in, man. Somebody sent somebody down here. What did you do to him? What the fuck? Hey, bitch, a nigga trying to kick my door, man, because you sent somebody down here. Do you have any drugs in the house? Are you fucking serious? Lord Jesus, please. You be better off calling Papa John's. They'll be there for the police get there. Tell y'all what's going on, dog. All right. So after the man got down, start illegally searching the man, just, just rubbing all on the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Moving his leg. Big nigga, too. It's gonna be that big nigga with that bald, understand, a light skin, fat head, bald head nigga. Light skin, big nigga. Not really buff, just a big, light skin, fat head ass. That's gonna be, that's the nigga you need to worry about. That nigga is not on your side. He's not on your side. That nigga is blue before he's black. And a lot of you black police officers like that. Oh, I didn't do my job. They give you that bullshit. I didn't got to do my job, man. I can't, I can't do that, man. I, I, I didn't got to do my job, man. Just, just hold tight for me. Hold tight for me? Where you going, dog? What's going on? Now you were just having a conversation with me. But see, he was having a little conversation with you because he was just trying to stall until the white folk got there so now he can tell the white folk, yeah, he's fucking lying. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's lying, yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah, you, you wanna go, okay, you wanna do it? Okay, let me get you to turn around for me. Whoa, man, the, hey, let me get you to turn around for me. Stop resist, uh, so, man, so look, man. You see the man, he, he touched the man all, all improperly, man. And then um, the next time I see man is, um, they put the man over there on the wall. Say, go get on the wall. Man, like, and see, what's going through that nigga head was, I'm not a criminal. I've never been arrested in my whole fucking life. I'm here at my home residence, but see, that's why I don't like apartment complexes, because you're never at home, because it's not your house. Um, so he's really like, man, I really need to be recording this shit, because this shit is so fucking illegal right now. But he like, man, let me just cool out. So he got on the wall, but he's starting, you can tell that he, he, like, cause this white man already stopped me at the elevator. 
Now, goddamn, I'm at the rail. Y'all say get away from the rail, and you had this nigga touching on me, goddamn. So, really, I'm getting hot right now, and I know the only thing that's saving you motherfuckers is that y'all have on them fucking uniforms, period, point blank. Who the fuck is texting me like this? So, nigga, already like, man, y'all really trying me on this uniform shit. Like, y'all really believe that you are that nigga behind this badge. And a lot of fuck niggas, understand this now, a lot of fuck niggas join the police force now. Some good niggas, but a lot of fuck niggas join that police force for that revenge shit. A lot of fuck niggas join that police force on that revenge shit, nigga. And niggas goddamn police the area that they grew up in. I don't know, I'm gonna clean up the neighborhood shit, but on some, yeah, you fuck niggas, fuck my bitch. You fuck niggas been teasing me all in high school. You fuck niggas around this bitch shining. Some niggas join the police force just to uh, enhance their hater abilities. Please believe now. Don't, I wanna say something right now, but I ain't gonna say it because hoes do it too. Hoes will get in a position within the within the city to where they can goddamn say whether or not you get this or get that. Please now, understand me. Motherfuckers who ain't never had power don't need power. When they get it, they abuse that shit, believe that shit. Real talk. I, I'm glad I ain't gotta deal with it. But now the niggas on the wall. Now you got them on the wall, whatever like that. So now it's like, man, all right, dog. Y'all, by, by this time, y'all, y'all got my shit together now. Y'all got it together. Y'all already seen. I ain't got no weapons. Ain't no threat here. Like if it was a threat, like if y'all coming for an immediate threat, there is no immediate threat here. Ain't nobody breathing hard. Ain't nobody bleeding. There's nothing going on here. Obviously, you're on the wrong floor. They put the man, told him to get against the wall, whatever like that. And, a, and understand what's going on in, in the fat head. Like in the fat head head, in the water head, ball head, nigga head, what's going on is this fuck nigga goddamn think this is a game. That's why the fuck he touched the nigga improperly in the first place. Man, he touched that nigga pocket like he was Debo. That nigga tapped that nigga pocket like, what you got on my forehead on some shit? Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, a nigga wanna bow the fuck out this bitch ass nigga? The fuck you going to my pocket for, nigga? Bow that bitch ass nigga. I hate fat head niggas like that, dog. That'd be the same motherfucker in Hooters with, with all the fucking rest of the white boys and his goddamn bullshit ass shirt and, and with a fucking, you know, a Rams hat or some duck ass shit like that. Uh, so, an uh, Alabama hat on or some duck ass shit. And goddamn that bitch laughing with the white boy. Ha ha ha. You know what I'm saying? And, and like looking at niggas and trying to look down on niggas. Like he better than niggas. Like, nigga, you a police officer. You don't get paid that motherfucking much than niggas, motherfucker. Bitch ass nigga. You fuck niggas. But look, dog. So whatever. The nigga on the wall. Nigga on the wall, whatever like that. Now they tell a nigga sit Indian style. Man, tell a nigga to sit Indian style, dog. Sit down Indian style, dog. Like you in second and first grade. We finna play duck, duck, goof around this bitch. Sit Indian style. So now, not only did you touch me, bitch ass nigga. Not only did this white man stop me from going to my fucking house where I got business to handle. Not only am I not a threat and never been arrested in my fucking life. Not only is this fat waterhead nigga already give, cause you gotta understand now, when a bitch nigga touch you like that, you like, hold up, man. That nigga looking at you like, what? Fuck you mean, I told you I need to goddamn search you. Like, no, nigga, you a police officer, but you talking like a nigga. So it's like, yeah, whole ass nigga, yeah, I touch you. But hold on, though, you both be professional right here. Like, you really treat me like a criminal, and this is how the fuck they do you, because most folks won't go through with a, uh, official complaint and shit like that. So it's like, yeah, fuck nigga. So, they, they, they do this shit, dawg. Understand. They do this shit, dawg. So, bam. Sit Indian style. Man, look, dawg. Y'all already got me on I'm not sitting no fucking Indian style. And it wasn't no sooner they said that shit, they converged on me. And you see Waterhead, the first nigga goddamn, hitting that nigga with straight money. Real street nigga shit. I'm hitting you with straight money. I'm hitting you with straight money. And knock the nigga ass out. Now that he knocked out, now everybody put a knee in the nigga back. 
Like we ain't had too many niggas die from fucking being on a nigga back. I can't breathe. Breaking niggas spinal cords. You motherfuckers kill motherfuckers with your bare hands. This way y'all like this. This way y'all pull out your gun instead of your taser. Hit the nigga with straight money. Straight money. Like it's a street fight. But my nigga, you not doing, you bitch ass nigga. You got two folks on the side of him holding his hand. You got another white man pushing him against the wall. He can't defend himself. You getting straight money on him. As big as you is, this nigga's a, you know what I'm saying? As big as you fucking is, you gonna put two more big niggas on him then another big nigga pushing him to the wall and then you giving him straight money to the motherfucking face. And you a big dog for that. And then you could tell after he did it, you know what I'm saying? He bragging about it. Like he holding his hand. Ooh, with this motherfucker right here. But ooh, you don't want this now. I told you I don't want none. I told you now. I told you. Imagine what he was saying when he was hitting him. Told you, bitch, damn nigga. Told you, bitch, damn nigga. Bitch, don't know. Fuck my lady. What? That nigga there treated that man like this is the motherfucker who fucked his wife. You don't think that that's what he's going through at home? Some motherfuckers enjoy putting on this uniform because now what I feel inside, you're going to feel. Everybody in my path today, this is the same shit, the same theory, the same theory or the same diaspora that the school shooters have. Everyone is going to feel my fucking pain. Everyone's going to feel what I feel. How I run it. Police officers have the same mindset as school shooters. This is what took place. Black lives do not matter. Hold one second, please. Yeah, I'll tell him. I gave him 10 a day. Black lives do not matter. I'm not going to get into that whole speech and shit like that, man. But this is what this shit shows, man. It just shows, like, you fuck niggas. You black police officer niggas. And then a nigga, the same nigga who sent me this story also sent me the story of the police in uh, Broadway County that was boxing with the nigga. And that was love right there. And that that's nothing but love right there. It's like... You have real niggas, but them niggas is just like niggas in the street is so, they, they so far and in between. It's like you just gotta call police officers niggas fuck niggas because it's so many of you fuck niggas who really rock like that. It's so many of you CO niggas who really rock like that. CO, that nigga right there, remi- that's why it, it hit me so hard because that nigga reminds you of a fucking CO. He rocks just like a CO. He treated that civilian as if he was an inmate. Not like he was a, 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 like somebody going to court. Like he was already a fucking inmate. This is my first, my first mind is telling me to violate all rights that you have. I don't give a fuck about touching you. I want you to sit in this style. And if you don't do what the fuck I say, I'm going to give them to you. This is what we living at, man. This is what I'm telling y'all, man. Share these goddamn videos. Maybe somebody be touched so we can, so so they know 
that nigga, somebody, nigga, nigga, see you doing this shit, dog. Nigga, see what the fuck you doing? You bitch ass nigga. Why do you hoe ass niggas do this shit? Like, dog, if you want power, you earn that shit. You cannot just put something on and now you have automatic fucking power. You have to earn it out. And I'm, I'm not talking about going to fucking police training and all that bullshit like that. Because the power y'all want, y'all gotta be a president to get that type of power. You want power over, you want dominion over a fucking man. The same way a, a, the uh, serial killer wants dominion over life and death. It's not that much fucking difference. And I, 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 I despise the shit when it's a nigga. Because I, cause in my mind it says, you really did that shit so them white boys will fucking accept you. So they so they know, yeah, oh, he one of us. Oh, yeah, he, oh, he don't give a fuck. I bet you wouldn't have did no motherfucking white boy like that. I bet you wouldn't have did no goddamn white boy like that. Because them white motherfucking officers would have pushed you the fuck off of them. Like, whoa, man, whoa, hey, man, whoa. See, I ain't for that, man. What's going on? I bet you the fuck he wouldn't have did that to no goddamn white man who had a clean record. Clean cut. He wouldn't even touch that nigga pocket like that. If yes or no, sir, then. So I wish I could dance for you, sir. It's y'all, dog. It's y'all. For some reason, you bitch ass niggas don't listen to real shit. You don't listen to real shit, so you don't even know that folk can see exactly what the fuck you doing. Nigga don't want no uh, explanation, no fucking excuse. Dog, a nigga can see. This is the same thing I'm saying. I had a nigga on my timeline write something up under my post, whatever like that. And niggas don't understand that because you've never been around real niggas, you can't even see how jealous, envious, and, and how much hatred you're showing, how how small and, and little you look from writing this in public. If you had been around some real niggas in your life, you would never write that shit up on that nigga post. Because you know, like, I don't want nobody to see that that's the way I think. I keep that shit to myself. And then, of course, niggas got all up on them and shit like that. Niggas like, damn, what the fuck? This a hating ass nigga right here. And I shared it, like, because I wanted that nigga to see, like, damn, you in a whole different fucking world. But it's the same thing for these niggas. It's not until you get caught in that bullshit and you do some duck ass shit like that that you realize, like, damn, I really did something wrong. Because you have been raised by fuck niggas your whole life. Because people have petted you on your head your whole life. Your whole fucking life. I can only imagine what your mama and your grandma say to you. They probably think you the best thing in the world because you're a fucking police officer. See, y'all got life fucked up. Y'all really believe, and this is people in general, you really believe that a motherfucker earned the right, the privilege, or the power to be behind that uniform. All the fuck they had to do was run up a couple laps and pass a fucking test that a high school graduate could. That's all. No, it ain't no aptitude test to tell if you're a fucking bully at heart or you have serial killer tendencies. Look at these fucking horrendous things police officers have done. Obviously, they're not being vetted that fucking much. But yet and still, a family could have a rapper and a, a successful rapper and a police officer in a family and every all the older people would say, you need to be more like Steve. He's a goddamn, he's an officer of the law. He, uh, he upholds the law. Don't know what the fuck he's doing. Don't know how well of an officer he is. It's just that fucking occupation makes you look like you. The same thing with the military. He's an upstanding gentleman. Are you serious? People like that, you need to, those are those fake people I'm talking about. Those people who make statements like that, that stereotype people like that, you do not need to let their comments, their words hold any sway in your life. I don't give a fuck if it's your grandma, my, I don't give a fuck. If they make those kind of comments, let them have their words, but don't ingest them. Their word don't mean shit. You need to get around real fucking people. Big Face Podcast, Ayo Canseco, Are You Serious? 
Make sure you hit the PayPal and make sure you go get you a shirt. See y'all in a minute.